FC Extra Time is brought to you by Globant. Hello, welcome into the ESPN FC studios. Um, and, yes? Can I tell you, you know when we were talking about, you know, when a player's out of line and you talk to them? Yes, Listen, we, we've been discussing the Gia Reyna situation yeah. and Greg and, you, and you're looking for the right response. Yes. Well, I know we were being serious about the Gia, so it didn't really, I, I didn't tell you this story because it, it kind of, it's, it's more fun than serious. Okay, okay. all right. You set up. We, well, we, signed, we signed Diego Serna, who Ali will tell you, at the time, mm. no question, the best centre forward in MLS. Okay. Right? But the guy was a bit of a problem, mm. which is why <laughs> we ended up getting him anyway. So we signed him, uh, and on the Monday, he came in for training, um, and then the Tuesday morning, he never came in. Oh. <laughs> and then the Wednesday morning, he never came in. Right. And he never came in until Friday morning. So we're playing on a Saturday, and we just signed him, and he comes strolling in the Friday morning, and I'm like, I said, where have you been all week? And he went, wow, I had to go home, and I had to do this, and right. blah, blah. And I said, look, I said, I understand you've just moved. Right. I know there's a lot of stuff you have to do with your family, and, you know, moving, and all the other things. I says, but number one, tell me. I said, if you tell me, then I'll, I'll do everything you can to help you. Right. I said, apart from the fact that everybody is wondering where you've been, I said, how am I supposed to play you tomorrow? Yes. And he's like, oh, I understand, I understand. So, of course, I couldn't play him. Right. And the reason I couldn't play him is because the whole group would have been upset. Yeah, rightly so. Right. Anyway, so fortunately we played on a Saturday yep. and we got away with it. It came on as a sub. Okay. We were like 15 minutes to go. We were winning 2 1. He scored. Everything turned out great. Beautiful. So I spoke to him again. I said, right. I said, look, remember. How was your earpiece? <laughs> remember, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he went, no problem. Don't okay. worry about it. Right. I didn't see him to the following Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I, don't, I actually can't remember him starting again because he just never appeared. So how long did he last? Oh, we got rid of him. End how? Of, how did you get rid year. of him? Well, end of the year, see you later. Right. Wow. I'm an Honestly, this guy scored goals for fun, though, and, wow. and he ended up being my teammate with the LA Galaxy. Oh, did he? Yes. And how was that? Did he well, he wasn't good? showing up either. <laughs> <laughs> he was consistent. And you were like, good, I'll play. That's no problem. And did you get anything nice for your birthday? No. Eleanor must have got you something. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I got a right big fry up. When it came oh, back. Mm. lovely. Mm. Beans, toast, mm. yeah. and butter. And how is that different bacon. to any other day? <laughs> no, I don't get that every day of the week. This was the birthday <laughs> version. This was the birthday, birthday version. version. The birthday one. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I was like, I had to sit in the chair for about 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good for how, the old how, cholesterol. And how was the show? Like how was the cake on it? Yes, yes, well, exactly. <laughs> well, there's certain, there's certain things that. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the shoulder. Uh, I push, yeah. I push through. Yeah. Uh, Why does your earpiece keep falling out today? Is it a new one? That's, no. Oh, what's the problem? For some reason, I didn't put my own in and I borrowed this one. Right. <laughs> and the thing's been falling out. Yeah, we, we have noticed. Oh, no. You can't hear Shaka. Shaka Hislop is with us as well. Uh, Shaka, I heard a story about you getting on the wrong bus and ended up in a coffee shop at five in the morning. Uh-oh. Here we uh. go. Yeah. That happened. Should we have to take a bus? to get back to the hotel. And I got on the wrong bus. I took a little bit longer to get back to the apartment than uh, How long are we should. talking here? How long, Jack? And uh, <laughs> it took about an hour. How, how, you, bus, aren't you a doctor? Regular, aren't you supposed to be smart? Don't about you know which bus to take? I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a doctor of bus routes. <laughs> 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 I took a bus. It was a bus, I got on the bus, so what, is and it, I is just it, had every wrong place. Did somebody That's tell me to get a number 25, or an, <laughs> is that a name, or uh, what is it? When you get on a bus... No, what, there is, so there's one street, the street is blocked off, the street is blocked off, and there are buses that come. But the media bus looks a little different. Well, I know now because, <laughs> yeah. because I've experienced all the buses there are in Qatar. So the media bus looks a little different. But I was going back by myself for the first time, Got on the wrong bus, and it took the scenic route. I eventually got back to. to when my did you apartment, realize you were on the wrong bus, Jack? Yeah? An hour. So are the buses free, or you got to pay when you <laughs> get on? Pretty quickly. Pretty well. quickly, but then. Right. 
I don't know. You can't get off. Once I get off, I don't know how to get back. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'm, I'm just like, I've got to ride this out. So, yeah. And, and the, I asked the driver, and he was like, yeah, this will take it to um, the area where the apartment is. He's like, this will take it there. So I, I had no choice. I was like, all right, I'm... Oh, yeah. Went for the long haul. And last, last time we spoke about you and Seb, you said he was singing in the shower. How is it developing your uh, your roommate relationship? Better. Oh. Um, oh. I've oh. not seen him as much. Well, that's why it's better. Hey. I've, I've yeah. not seen him as much in the old Usually what? And that's, uh, <laughs> yes. Oh. So we get on the wrong bus. Shaka seems a bit laboured living <laughs> with uh, Naden. We had a bit of a spark with but what's Seb. What's Seb doing? Mexico's out in the US, or what's Football Seb? Americas every day. Him and Seb. Oh, Evan the Hurt. Oh, right. There you go. Well, you don't come home and do that. Oh, I, Why do you have to go to date, date in Qatar? I don't know. I'm not in charge of this, am I? Wow. Oh, right. Well, all right. Well, you right. seem to have all the answers. Yeah. That was a. Well, <laughs> well, you asked me what he was doing. <laughs> 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 Ali, you watch. Inezri and Bono almost every week with Sevilla. Mm. Did you know they had this level of play in their bag when you see them at club level? Bono, yes. Uh, he's consistently having to make saves for Sevilla. Certainly has had to do that this season as they haven't been all that great. Uh, and he has been a very good goalkeeper for Sevilla for a few years now. As for Inezri, City, that's different because he has had difficulties playing regularly for Sevilla. However, the athleticism that we saw in the finish against Portugal, that jumping ability has always been there. Doesn't always put it on target. This one went on target when it mattered the most. Uh, Stevie, did you enjoy the Netherlands against Argentina? Never underestimate the Qatar World Cup. Mm. It's of course when you were very down on it, you thought it was going to be a terrible match. Well, I didn't, I didn't think it was particularly exciting, uh, to be honest with you, and it 2-0, as I told you. It's quite uh, exciting at the end. Well, fortunately, uh, I agree with you, and I did see it, right. but I saw it on tape. Right, because... Where because I went for... At 2-0, I went, the oh. game's done. Wow. Because the Dutch... I mean, let's be honest, the yes. Dutch were horrible. Yes. And so I couldn't see them scoring, never mind two. Oh. So I went for a walk with the dog. Huh? With the dog. Yes. And when I got back, it was extra time. <laughs> <laughs> so I quickly turned the telly off and... No! Got the tape on, and then I watched it from... <laughs> There you go. And you were like, oh, I wonder if it's going to go to extra time. <laughs> <laughs> the drama. The drama of it all. <laughs> I did, of course, start at extra time. I didn't watch <laughs> For Shaka, thoughts on Emmy Martinez's personality? Seems like he might be annoying sometimes, but surely if you're performing like that, he is mo must love the passion. Yeah, you, 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 you take that. It is a little bit annoying, I'll right. be honest, but he's true to himself. You've, see, you've seen him react exactly the same for Villa. I have to say, I, I don't remember that kind of reaction um, while, while, while he was at Arsenal, but playing for Villa, certainly you see that from him when he makes a big save and he has a big performance. That's just who he is. And, and I, above all, stick to continue to be true to who you are, and, and Martinez is doing that. It kind of kicked off at the Copa, didn't it? Yeah. Against yes. Colombia. Yeah, yeah, Colombia. Was, Up yeah. until then, it was like, he didn't even know who he was. Yeah, there was some trash talking going ah, on. Ah, he just carried that on, didn't he? Yes. Uh, Stevie, how did, you, how did you react to players getting self-inflicted injuries like Neuer did during your managerial time? Neuer, of course, breaking his leg, well, skiing of sorts. Well, honestly, when I heard about this, I have never heard anything so unprofessional and stupid <laughs> in all my life. Wow. As a professional footballer, if there was something else you could do for supposed fun or enjoyment or another sport, the last thing it would be would be skiing. Mm. You talk about the worst thing for a footballer to injure his knees or his ankles. I mean, it's just... I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I couldn't repeat what I would have said to him oh. if I'd been his manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, there are occasions where they just <laughs> sometimes things happen. Right. We, we were pre-season with the Revs. Uh, a guy called Michael Parkhurst. Where did you go to pre-season? We went to... It was a very serious, heads yes. down... Yes. Cancun. Uh-oh. <laughs> We went uh -oh. to Cancun, by oh. the way, <laughs> by the way, I didn't know at the time. Yes. It was in the middle of spring break. Oh, oh well done. Oh, oh, oh my itchies. goodness. Itchies. So we had a, we had a, as soon as we arrived at the hotel, we had a, we had a meeting. 
<laughs> they set a few rules down. <laughs> right. Anyway, Michael Pankhurst. How many, uh, how many of those rules did you break? Oh, I wasn't included in it. Oh, I see, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you above the rules. You and Mariner yeah, were exempt yeah. from the rules. See, above the rules. There are some who set the rules, <laughs> and there are some who have to follow the rules, uh, and there's the others who... Uh, can, we tell, <laughs> can we tell the story about the phone call? Was that in Cancun? It may not have been Cancun. I don't want to get you into trouble. <laughs> oh... Oh, but can we say that? Yeah. I think yeah, we, yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. Borderline. Oh, you have to tell it no. Borderline. You have to I tell think, it no. I think we can't. It's, okay, well, it's your, yeah. it's your marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Paul, and I, I mean, let's be honest, Paul and I and the Rev. I mean, right. I mean, the youngest one is at the time was like 53. <laughs> you know okay, what I mean? Right. <laughs> and we had a friend with us, um, Brian Howe, okay. who was a singer. Uh, sung for bad, in Bad Company, right. very famous guy. And there was this this <laughs> bar stroke restaurant stroke disco kind of place. Right. And we managed to talk ourselves into getting free tickets if Brian would sing a song. Okay. Nice. So it was like it was free drink. The whole thing was free. <laughs> yep. Good. So we get there. And we kind of went pear shape. Brian never ended up singing. Right. But we got in. Yep. And it was everyone was free. Right. Right. And it was absolutely jam packed. Right. So we're in the disco part now, really. Yeah. Aren't we? We were, with, we, the, with the restaurant. Yeah. We were, we're, the, strokes, strokes, the strokes, strokes are gone. We are right in the middle of I the mean, disco. We left. We left because we just felt old. Right. To be okay. Yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> we get home. So I'm talking to Eleanor. Yes. <laughs> when I get back to the hotel, so twelve o'clock, come up. And she's like, oh, what have you been doing? I said, oh, we just went for a drink. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 just went for a drink, all right. Anyway, she called me the following evening. And she went, what did you do last night again? I went, oh, no, we just went for a drink. She went, so you didn't go to a club or a disco or, or... And I was like, oh, hey, what, it, what? It turned out her best friend's son's best mate was in the place. Brilliant. And told them. Oh. And then she called my message and went, oh, see, Steve was in the song, so I was like, oh, you can't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job. Restaurant, stroke, bar, yeah, and a little, I mean, little just disco. Went, <laughs> just a tiny yeah. disco. Yeah. Some music was well, playing in the background. Was it, the middle, it was the middle of spring break as well, wasn't it? Went, oh, I'm not sure, was it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the original story. Right, very sorry. Guys. To Michael Parkhouse. So we're talking about Neuer. What an idiot. On the other hand, you got somebody like Michael Parkhouse. So that pre-season, yeah. After training, the boys would go in the sea just to, for a dip. Right. right. He got hit by a wave and hurt his shoulder and was out for six weeks. Right. So things like that just actually. You didn't mind that. Well, there's nothing no. you can do. No, he exactly. Wasn't, he wasn't doing anything stupid like Neuer. Oh, and clubs late night. Uh, is Morocco the best underdog story ever at a World Cup, Shaka? Um, I'm going to go for a yes. The, the only thing, the, the only equivalent, South Korea getting, getting to the World Cup in 2002 when Japan and South Korea hosted, that probably was, was, was just as big. Um, but... I, I cannot, I cannot underplay the reaction to, to Morocco getting to the semi-final, especially who they beat in the last two games against Spain and, and, and Portugal, and how everybody here in, in Qatar reacted. It, it really has been phenomenal to witness. I would say uh, give a shout out to 1990 Cameroon. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It was the first time that we saw something like this happening and and the moments that you think of that run by Cameroon is for example René Guita the goalkeeper from Colombia trying to dribble as he always did and then getting getting picked up by Roger Milla he ends up scoring Roger Milla who was like 40 years old at that yeah. time and scoring goals late coming off the bench and and who did they list to Oh, oh, the mighty three lions, of yeah, course. Some questionable penalty kicks and extra time. I'm just, uh, well, speaking uh, of, have we got that video? Uh, have you got that video sorted, Pete? I don't know. Have you, have you? You sent me this when England got knocked out or Harry Kane missed the penalty yesterday. And I don't quite understand what oh, it was all about. Oh, the dog. Well, it wasn't. It's just like this. This is oh. what I received. I know. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this I is know. what it is. The night has come. 
The dream is over. The end of the world, perhaps. <laughs> there you go. That's all I got. Oh, that was it. <laughs> what, I'll tell you, what happened was, Harry Kane, right? Yes. I just missed the penalty. Yes. Right. So I said to him, I went, what is this? So I got my phone, <laughs> and I thought I'd, I thought I'd, I thought I'd taped all of this. But what I did was I got the dog and I went right, come here, Haggis. I said right. I said by the way, Dan. I said it, Haggis is going to get two extra biscuits. Right. Because Harry Kane missed the penalty. Like. <laughs> right. How did that work? But and then I sent it. Right. Yes. <laughs> And then I realised that I had made a mess. <laughs> so that's why you One got that. One gave it that. away. <laughs> that's why you got it's that. Like <laughs> Oh, God. It was meant to be high, he's getting two biscuits. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Stevie, given that both Croatia and Morocco are semi-finalists, have we been too harsh on Belgium's group stage exit? If Lukaku hits one of his shots, Croatia will be eliminated. Lukaku! <laughs> Lukaku. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know whether you remember, Dan, but there was, there was two or three of us weren't quite sure whether Belgium would get out of the group. We actually, I said it, I know Craig said it, that... Right. If they didn't make it out of the group, it wouldn't be a complete shock. Right. So, so were you too harsh on them when they didn't make it out of the group, given the quality and the runs that Croatia and Morocco have had? No. Right. No, not at all. No. 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 Uh, was Shaka. Surprise, was it? Shaka, who's been the best goalkeeper? Bono, Ivakovic, or Martinez? Um. I'm going to go for Livakovic. Um, I just feel he's he's been more tested. Um, Bono, I, I I feel I feel Morocco have been have been the best of of, of the three defensively. Um, Livakovic has has come up outstandingly well when when needed, and uh, and, and 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 Martinez again. I, I think he's made big saves, and and I'm thinking back to, to late on in Australia, especially. He's made big saves when needed, but Novakovic has, has been has, has had to do more for, for, for his country. So Stevie, can you describe oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Can you describe your feelings when Lissandro Martinez was being exposed with the Netherlands high ball into the box, given your own record as saying he's not being tested in the Premier League in that regard? No, well I'm not no, I'm not gonna jump on that. Look. Vic Horst is six foot six. Six foot six. So, had Martinez been six foot two, he might not have won the header anyway, right? So I'm not going to have a go at him for not winning the header. Oh, there we go. I am going to have a go at him, however, for not being closer to Vic oh. Horst. Because when you go, when you're in a situation like that, that it's not defending is not always about winning the header or winning the challenge. If you can't. Obviously, that's that's the aim. If you can do that, then 100%, that's brilliant. But sometimes you can't do that. Right. So then what you have to do is you have to make sure that you, at the very least, influence the guy on the ball. So if you're closer to Veghorst, you can give him a little nudge or just do something to put him off so that he can't get it on target. That's my problem with Martinez, not... Martinez. Martinez, I beg your pardon, I keep saying that. I that's do it. beg your pardon. That's, so that's right, that's right. So that it's, it's not, because of the size of their cost, the job is not about winning the header, it's about affecting what the guy winning the header does. And he didn't do that. Uh, final tweet, one of millions to you, Shaka, and on this subject. How does it feel that you're two games away from changing your GOAT list? Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I am, uh, at this point, unmoved. Probably the best way to describe my uh, Ooh, oh. my feelings. You seem tired, Shaq. Did you get on the wrong bus getting here as well? <laughs> you missed the bus, you had to walk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had a really good day of sleep, actually. And today was good. Oh, Steve. Was, I, I slept a lot. <laughs> See, I was thinking that when he missed the bus, <laughs> that he wouldn't have realized until the bus got to the end of the line because right. Knowing Shaka like we do, he would have asleep. Yes, he would have fallen asleep very quickly. Yeah. Of everybody you know, is there anybody you know pro that, that would sleep better than him? Oh no, no Shaka I mean, is automatic. What time did you wake up today, Shaq? Can you beat Stevie's 11:30? Ah, uh, yes, I can. I, I woke up because we've been keeping these strange hours. Um, I woke up probably about 
8, but then went back to bed about 10, woke up around 1, <laughs> had some lunch, <laughs> and had another little sleep. Wow. <laughs> so it's, it's been a... Uh, That's a three-nap day. <laughs> wow. <It's> wow. Been... <laughs> They're rarely yes. seen. The triple and, napper. And, and to be wow. fair, to be fair, <laughs> it, it's, it's a, to be fair, it was one nap. And two sleeps. <laughs> it was Shaka. two of them were not naps. Oh. Shaka, <laughs> when you, Shaka, when you were playing, were you one of the guys? Because everybody had them. There was always two or three guys who, whether they got on the bus, a plane, a trip, whatever, within ten seconds they're, they're sleeping. Yeah. Were you one of those guys, Shaka? Not not the bus so much, <laughs> but planes. Yeah, I had. I, and I still do. I fall asleep before they even finish boarding. Oh, I'm yeah. sleeping. Yeah. I do that. Still to the idiot. Like really angry with me. Oh. Yeah. For oh. many reasons, that's one of them. <laughs> yeah, we had, a, we had a few who used to do that. Oh. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you can't just sleep anywhere. Look at oh, you. Oh, no. No? Hey, no. No? No. I've got a few beers for us. Oh, no. No. And there it is. The key. Uh, well, happy <laughs> birthday, Stephen. Yeah. Hold yeah. on, well, well, Dan. Hold well, on, Dan. Oh. What, what, what do you mean, I'm surprised you can't point to this TV? I'm surprised you can't sleep anywhere. Look at you. Well, well, how is poor Stephen supposed how to do look that? At me? Well, well, because you just you love your sleep. So I just imagine that you could just sleep anywhere. Yeah, no, no. No, no. once I go, I can stay there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stop going to stir it out there, Qatar yeah. man. Get on the right yeah. first. Go on to your fourth nap. Yeah, look just, at this. Yeah. I'm just... I'm, I'm just interested in Steve's well-being. There you go. Yeah, Thank you, Shaka. Sure. I don't know why they've given you all these black and white pictures, as if there well, was no colour back in that day. Yeah. I see something. <laughs> well, 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 well. Uh, look. look at that. Player of the year. Look at him. What's that, 89, 88? 89. Look at wow. him. Beautiful. I mean, what a stud. Yeah. Oh, I can't even get above a walk now. Oh, oh man. man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK, these photos seem to be depressing him. Let's yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> remind you. Uh, the yeah, ESPN enough. FC is back on your screens tomorrow. Steve will be here in... I'll get Colour. a new eye piece. <laughs> new no cake? Piece and all. No cake for Stevie? Uh, no, no. Oh. We only realised five minutes before the show starts. Oh, okay. okay. No, that's that's right. preparation. It's kind of like Shaka's that's preparation. <laughs> I know me for Stevie did too. <laughs> you don't even like cake, though, do you? Oh, who said I don't like cake? <laughs> Have the laugh. Good old sponge cake. Whoa. <laughs> a bit of cream. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.